Hey, welcome guys, Polymake here. Yeah, a lot of progress in my game, and we're technically, you know, playable, right? I don't know. But in all seriousness, today is actually a big day. I made it to version 0.01, my code has no errors in it, and I don't know, that's kind of epic. So, anyways. We have a top-down camera, we click to move, and the mechanic that kind of started it all, which is the slingshot mechanic, where you uh, tap shy, pull back, and can engage an enemy from far away also using your special attack. I kind of did that because I was just grinding RPGs and opening up with just the same skill over and over again as soon as I had unlocked it. And uh, it just feels right to, for the player to be able to open up with the skill of your choice, as well as creating some kind of overworld routine for these enemies so they're not just standing there uh, waiting for me to attack them. So I spent quite a while modeling all the props for, for the maps that I'm putting into this version 0.01. So we have these village props with just a minor amount of variation um, on some of the props so that I can kind of duplicate them without them being noticed. And uh, the quantity of props isn't isn't that big, right? Um, they're kind of organized in these folders, but it just took me a while to decide what minimalist amount of props I needed for each map and to decide what tweaking of vertexes and um, what, what my art form was gonna be that I could spam out for the entirety of the game. So that took a little bit of time. Um, and then laying it out um, in each map took even, I'd say, more time. But I'm really happy with the result um, between the village, the riverfront map, um, the wolf's den map, or the ward's den map now, instead of wolf, and then the uh, the graveyard over here. These all these all worked really well. This is like exactly what I needed as far as spacing, aesthetic, uh, size, scale. Um, yeah, so I'm really happy with all the way the environment props came out. While we're in battle, uh, we can swipe for abilities as well as tapping the icons down here. Definitely UI is in a prototype state, looking all Roblox style, but um, it's all there, it's functional. So you could either tap attack or just swipe anywhere on the left side of the screen to the right um, for the same move. And of course those would be uh, kind of telegraphed to the player in the way that they equip these skills and this like skill slot inventory thing that I have not there right now. As for sounds, I wrote four music tracks for Shy so far. For the menu, the village, the the fields, and the graveyard, because it felt a little different than the fields. I use Soundtrap.com, and my process for this is just to grab my guitar, get a little fresh diddle going, and transpose it to MIDI in any sound workstation. So Soundtrap worked just fine for kind of getting my melody together. Digging on it. Well, now that we've hopped back in the game, let's meet our enemies, shall we? So first enemy to design was the Warg. It originally started out as like a quadruped a wolf, but I didn't really enjoy the idea of hitting the dog or the wolf. So I, um, you know, turned it into this Warg, only two feet, much more punchable. Um, we got a couple more, a couple animations for the Warg. So like a flinch animation, just an idle when he's doing nothing. Simple react when uh, the player character is engaging the enemies, and we have a swipe, just a single attack animation. Next is the Magus enemy. Uh, totally just wanted kind of a floating, like League of Legends style minion character. That's what I had in my head. And the same style, same format of animations here. Uh, a casting animation instead of a slashing animation would be the only difference, but he is, uh, I think he's pretty cool. We'll take a look at the casting animation here. Just kind of. Move around. Uh, yeah, the, the mesh is the mesh, the size. Um, of course, like my emissive materials aren't set yet. They're not scripted, so they're all just gonna be this like glowing pink for now. But that's that's some tech that we'll put in later. But this guy's cool. No particles yet. Um, but the, the foundation's there for the Magus. I like him. And last is the Goot enemy. This is the henchman of our evil villain. And uh, yeah, I like this. I like this enemy. He's cute, but don't feel bad for for stabbing him because he's a little turd. Oh yeah, so I should show you guys the newly designed shy player character. Um, but let me show you kind of what's like 
modifiable about Shy, so you can get um, different hair or hats because it's socketed. It'll you'll be able to get different shoes, um, back pieces, and of course the sword, and they're all separated out and socketed uh, to to the skeleton. Um, this is just because my RPG, I want to have like upgradable and craftable items and hats and. I think like snapbacks would be cool or different hairstyles. Um, I, I'm leaning into that kind of more, uh, I don't know, stylish um, nature. So uh, Shy is going to be pretty hip with the kids. Um, but yeah, he's coming out really well. I brought three new swords into the game. Uh, so we have the wood stick, wolfsbane, slime sword, and bone blade that will drop off of mobs um, on chance in the fields. I think they're pretty cool. It's worth noting that I'm really enjoying the process here from modeling, uh, sketching, design, world layout, sound design, concept, thinking way down, increasing the scope, bringing the scope back down for prototypes and little sprints like this last one. I'm really enjoying it. And uh, for anyone that watches these dev vlogs and like wants in on this RPG, just Go to the link below. I, I open up a Discord, like I'm ready, right? Um, now that the build is in somewhat of a shareable state, we can, it serves as a focal point um, for our discussion. So yeah, link to the Discord, join in, uh, try to get the little founders role that I'm gonna give you if you show up first, because I don't imagine anyone even watches these videos or would show up. So I'm just gonna be stoked and give you a role. And then, you know, we'll gatekeep it like, the I'm just kidding, we won't gatekeep. All right, guys, like and subscribe if you still have the energy to do so. And don't forget to leave a comment below just to help this video not drop into the void. And anyways, I appreciate you guys. Peace.